He might be best known as the guy who played the nerdy guy in Grease, but the actor permanently associated with the role of Eugene Felsnick, the bullied and bespectacled Rydell High student who could surprisingly hurl a cream pie with remarkable precision, has a name. Eddie Deason Deason turned in a memorable performance in the 1978 classic and went on to appear in lots of other projects. How did this fellow maintain a steady and interesting stream of work for decades in a business that can chew up even the hottest A-list stars at the drop of a hat? Let's take a closer look at Eddie Deason. Revenge of the Nerd By the time Grease left theaters, it was the fifth highest growing film of all time, cementing the pop culture status of John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. And then there's Eddie Deason, who arguably had a more important career, being the very model of the movie nerd. Many movies from the 80s needed nerd characters to operate these new things called computers to serve as punching bags for cool characters or to turn the tables on those cool characters. Deason did it better than anyone, playing nerds in such classics as Midnight Madness, Zapped, War Games, and a return to the role of Eugene in Grease 2. Ironically, the one nerd-centric 80s film he didn't appear in? Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> He'll be seeing you. For someone so typecast, Eddie Deason has thrived, making a living as a working actor for more than 40 years and counting. Sure, he's not starring in big blockbusters, but he has appeared in a ton of late-night cable-ready B-movies, including such schlocky titles as Laser Blast, Teenage Exorcist, Beverly Hills Vamp, Critters 2, and Assault of the Killer Bimbos. Deason even enjoyed top billing in Surf 2, where he plays a nerd who exacts revenge on surfers by turning them into mutants. Don't you worry, you don't need to see Surf 1 to understand it. Do you know how many brain surgeons, nuclear physicists, or Nobel laureates have been surfers? I'll tell ya, none! He's a very vocal guy. Eddie Deason has the nerd voice to go along with the nerd image. Over the past 20 years, Deason's career has shifted almost entirely to animation. From rival child scientist Mandark on Dexter's Laboratory, to fast food manager Ned on Kim Possible, to the geeky know-it-all in the Polar Express, Deason has remained in his nerdy wheelhouse. Deason's also had a prolific career as a voiceover performer in television commercials, including being the voice of Pop, as in Rice Krispies, Snap, Crackle, and Pop. He also auditioned to play one of the most famous ad characters ever, the Aflac Duck. Ultimately, he lost that ducky gig to Gilbert Gottfried. So I, uh, uh, I'm very happy to be here, but then I'm happy to be here. I mean, anywhere. I'm happy to be anywhere. Here's a fun fact. The Hollywood history books are full of actors who, when the big roles dried up or out of a need for creative fulfillment, turned to writing. Examples include Justin Thoreau, Emma Thompson, and Seth Rogen. Add Eddie Deason to that list, whose writing niche is very much in line with his nerd reputation. The curious actor is a big fan of trivia and fun facts, and as such, he's worked for a number of big players in that particular publishing arena. Deason has contributed fact lists and articles for the long-running Uncle John's Bathroom Reader series, as well as online trivia repositories such as Nidorama and Mental Floss. Deason loves to write about music, particularly the Beatles, the subject of his 1978 movie, I Want to Hold Your Hand. Listen, I know everything there is to know about the Beatles. There's nothing I don't know about the Beatles. She Loves You, Eddie Deason Eddie Deason has played comfortable variations of himself on the big screen and small screen for decades. However, it wasn't until 2012 that he got to portray the part he was born to play. Eddie Deason Written by, directed by, and starring indie filmmaker Sherry Matson, I Love You, Eddie Deason is about a woman who is so bored with her humdrum Midwestern existence that she decides to head for Hollywood and seeks out the man of her dreams, King of the Dorks, Eddie Deason. As the film's copy states, nerds need love too. Deason was very game for the 13-minute film, which allowed him to play the hunky leading man for the first time.